Good morning, my name is Vladimir Scorisa. I'm one of the members of group number 12. Uh, here we are presenting our project for the Telecommunication Network Security Class TCN 4081. Uh, our project is about social networks and digital security. We would like to start this presentation talking about what a social network service is. Well, a social network service is a type of a web service that is used to create virtual connection between different people that share similar interests, activities, and backgrounds. Uh, it usually allows uh, users to connect with all friends and to also expand their circle by finding new friends. Uh, as you may know, sharing uh, multimedia messages, uh, pictures, videos, activities, links, music, interests, uh, and much more is another key feature of the service. These social networks uh, allows users to update also personal information on their profile. You can share, you can change your, your profile picture as many times as you as you want. Uh, but at the same time, you can view also other user profile and interact with other members, uh, all friends, uh, co-workers. Uh, social networks are beneficial to its members as they can be used for different purposes. Uh, you, can, you can name it, uh, entertainment, job searching, education, so, so many searching. You can find love there and, and so on. Many, many, many other benefits that you can, you can find in social networks. Uh, this prominence and wide usage of social networks create a high security risk for its user uh, due to the amount of personal info that users share on, the, on these platforms. Uh, this, of course, makes them potential targets as we've been seeing on this class uh, for attackers as they can obtain uh, sensitive information and use them to, to carry out different kinds of attacks such as malware, spam, identity theft, which is, in my opinion, one of the worst. Uh, the major social networks attacks uh, are account hacking, fraud, malware, and identity theft. Now, my colleague Ernesto will keep explaining about uh, security issues on social networks. Thank you to my classmate, uh, Vladimir Escoriza. My name is Ernesto Amores, and I'll be talking about security issues, okay? The identified security issues that are related to the use of these social networks are privacy and users' security concerns. Private information sharing and uploading of multimedia content, such as photos and videos, as the main factors for security breach in social networks. These threads were categorized as multimedia content sharing threads, traditional threads, and social threads. I'll be talking about multimedia content sharing threads. This involves attacks uh, that are carried out through the multimedia contents that are uh, shared in a social network. They include threads from joint ownership of data, manipulation of data, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important, and stenography with uh, study links, third parties, and storage center. Joint ownership, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about this one, uh, it's a multimedia content belonging to multiple users. If one of them upload the, the content on a social network, that data will be shared with the privacy setting of that individual. And this may expose the privacy, uh, the privacy of other users that own the same content. Why? Because it belongs to all of them. I'm gonna give you a quick example, uh, a graphic example to understand that. If we got a multimedia content, okay, In a network, okay, uh, we can say that we have six users, okay, user one, user two, user three, four, five, and six, okay. We can say that user three, for example, is going to share this content in a social network, okay, in an app. We can say Facebook, for example, the most famous, okay. When that happened, this user is compromising the whole network because this content belongs to all these users, okay? So it's like uh, when you take a potato, a bad potato, and you put this potato in a box, you know? This potato is affecting the whole box. It's the same example, okay? So I'm gonna be talking now about manipulation of that. There are quite a number of tools that are read, um, really available that can be used to distort or modify multimedia data. Malicious individuals can use this tool to tamper with the multimedia content of legitimate users to warn them. And finally, I'll be talking about 
stenography, which is uh, the practice of concealing data within another media uh, to hide it. This technique can, however, be used by malicious users, that the black hackers that we were seeing in class, uh, to hide information by concealing it within the legitimate multimedia contents. We have to be really, really aware about this information, guys, because this affects our, our uh, integrity in a social network uh, when we are online. And now uh, I'm gonna leave you with my classmate, Eduardo Gomez, and um, please enjoy our presentation. Well, thank you, Ernesto. And my name is Eduardo Gomez, and I'm going to be talking about traditional threats, which this involves the use of the common hacking techniques that are used in other platforms to obtain sensitive information like a user personal data. They include threats such as phishing, spanning, and malware. Phishing, these are especially crafted malicious email attachments that are links to the web addresses hosting malware or intended to steal user confidential information. To carry out a phishing attack using a social network, the malicious user gathers a user personal information and uses this to create a tailored message. He or she sends this message, which appears legitimate, to the user via the social network. Malware, they are usually sent through a fake URL designed to look like a legitimate website. Now, once a user clicks the link, he is redirected to the website hosting this malware, which compromises his system with the aim of stealing the user's confidential information. And now I'm going to pass the word to my classmate, Adrián Herrero. I want to thank my teammate, Eduardo Gomez. My name is Adrian Herrero, and today I'm gonna to discuss what is social threats. The social nature of, the net of these networks can be maliciously exploited by attackers. They include threats such as enterprise espionage, cyberbullying, and cyberstalking. Cyberbullying involves a deliberate attempt at harassing or harming a user online, while cyberstalking involves stalking users through information such as user contact addresses and phone numbers that were retrieved from their social network profile. On the other hand, enterprise espionage are social networks that were used to perform social engineering. The research demonstrate that an employee information can be gathered through the use of social networks. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick review with numbers, which is really important when talking about statistics regarding network apps that we use nowadays. For example, people use some apps more than others, and it means we have more risk in a specific social networks. As we can see in this graph, according to Sofo, in 2011, on Facebook, we have a 61% of social of security threats. On MySpace, we have a 18%. On Twitter, we have a 17%. And curiously, on LinkedIn, we got only 4%. However, this is for a reason, because this particular app is only for a professional use. Actually, we all as engineers need to have a LinkedIn account in order to be connection for future projects. And now I'm gonna pass the voice to my uh, teammate, Diane Rodriguez, who is gonna talk about solutions against security issues. Hello, my name is Diane Rodriguez, and now, following what my friend Adrian was saying, I'm going to be talking about solutions against security issues. The security-related issues of this social network cannot be ignored. Over the past few years, many solutions have been proposed for the various security issues related to the use of these social networks. Some of these solutions include built-in security, phishing and spamming detection, stack analysis, profile cloning detection, malware detection, storage encryption, and commercial solutions. Now, I'm gonna be explaining a little bit about what each of these solutions mean. The first one, built-in security in social networks. 
<clears throat> there are many built-in solutions available for social network. They include privacy settings, authentication mechanisms such as multi-factor authentication and capture, and content or user report. The second one is phishing and spamming detection. Here, both are common attack techniques in information technology, and they have been around for a while. With the significant growth of this attack on social network, many solutions have been proposed to detect. For example, an anti-phishing technique called Fish Addict Technique was proposed to detect phishing attacks on Twitter. Now, the last one that I'm going to be talking about today is stack analysis. The information that has been hidden through staganography can be found by using stack analytic mechanisms or tools. Now, my friend Adrian is going to continue explaining a little bit more about the solution mentioned before. Now, I'm going to continue explaining the solutions against security issues. Profile cloning detection. This feature will help detect fake accounts that have been created to impersonate a legitimate user. Currently, social network platforms such as Facebook are developing a mechanism that can notify their users about cloned profile. This helps to differentiate the legitimate user profile from the impersonator's profile. Now, regarding malware detection, I can say that uh, different malware detection systems have been proposed for social networks. One of them is a technique that considers both the social network's topological properties and the characteristics of the malware propagations. Storage encryptions. Users' data should be stored in encrypted form to protect it from malicious users that will likely intercept it. Encrypting this data will also prevent access to them by government or law enforcement agencies that might request them. One major advantage of using these solutions is that the data cannot be accessed by anybody unless they have the right description key. And finally, we will discuss about commercial solutions where we can say that these solutions are developed by several security enterprises and they are sold to the public. Now, several of these solutions exist for the various social networks. Some of them are developed to defend multiple social networks while some are designed specifically for a social network platform. This is really important. Now, for example, a Firefox browser add-on Facebook phishing protector is used for detecting malicious activities in Facebook. It detects activities such as malicious browsers, script injection, and also protects the social network users against phishing attacks. That's, uh, that's correct, Eduardo. Actually, I would like to add that there are several security enterprises such as uh, McAfee, Norton, ABG, Cement, and Panda that provide social network users with web security software. Uh, this software provides all-round protection against computer risks such as malware, phishing by incorporating antivirus program and intrusion detection system IDS, which we were seeing in conference in the lectures, uh, firewalls and other protection software. Well, we are arriving to the end. Uh, we got Vladimir who is in charge of our conclusions. To finish this presentation, we would like to conclude that social networks allow people to connect and interact with other users and also allow sharing of multimedia messages uh, such as photos, activities and much more with friends without geographical limitations. This, however, creates a higher security risk for its users due to the amount of personal information that users share on these platforms. Uh, as you have seen in our presentation, we discussed the many security issues facing the use of these social networks. Finally, both existing and new solutions were proposed on how to prevent the security issues that have been discussed earlier. When implemented, this solution will help to achieve a secure and efficient social network system. Thank you for watching our presentation and good luck with the course.